tutorial, we're going to learn how to add and remove table rows using JavaScript. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to get our form, which is right here. So the way we'll do that is we'll say const form, and we'll just use document.querySelector because I didn't add any um, classes or IDs. And I can just type in form because this is the only form that's on the page. The next thing we'll do is we're going to add an event listener and the event that we're going to listen to is the submit event and this is going to take in a function so we'll go ahead and create that and we'll say function on add uh, website and this function will take in an event and it will be called whenever we submit the form on add website and the form will be submitted whenever we hit the uh, submit button so we're going to test that out by saying e.preventDefault because that will prevent it from going to the server. We don't have an action, so our form would just go nowhere or to the same page, essentially. And we'll make sure it works by just alerting something. This works. So let's just test it out. And it looks like it works. So that's really good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our website. And this will be from, we'll use document.getElementById website, which is the name, which is the ID attached to this your this uh, field right here. So we can just do dot value. We'll do the same thing for uh, URL as well. So document.getElementById URL dot value. And then we'll just alert URL plus website just to make sure this is working. So I'm going to put a test here, URL, website. So we should see website URL in the alert. Let's make sure that works. Oops, this has got to be a valid URL. So this should work. And yep, we see the URL plus the website. So that means we're getting the right elements. So now we want to dynamically add to the table. So to do that, what we can do is we can get the table. Actually, we want to get the table body, so we'll get the T body. And it's usually a good practice to add EL after these, just to let you know that they're elements. So I'm going to add EL. Okay, so I'm going to say document dot query selector dot T body. This will get me the table body. And then what I can do is I can, well, there's a few ways I can do this, but I'm going to do this the easy way. So I'm going to say T body el dot inner html plus equals um this yeah plus equals um a new table row so we're just going to add a table row like this so we're just going to add the element directly so we got the table row now we can just do the td and we can do some um, we can do we can just insert variables in here so we can do our website actually we got to do our URL first our URL our website and we can do the button so this is going to be a delete button so we'll give it a class of delete btn so we know that it's the delete button and we got to give it a class and not an ID because we're going to have multiple of these. And we'll just say delete. And that should do it. So now I'm going to type in Google and Google. And if I hit submit, you can see I have this. So it'd probably be better if we centered everything. So I'm just going to quickly add that style. No, you don't have to do this. So I'm going to say text align. Cent Oops, not text emphasis, text align, center. So everything's a little bit more centered. So now if we add that again. You can see we got that there. So it's looking good. Uh, the next thing we want to do is, now that we've got the elements added, we want to create an event for when we click on the delete button, we uh, actually delete the element. So this is pretty easy to do. We actually want to add an event to the table and not to the delete button because we're adding the delete button dynamically. We can't add it. Uh, we can't use an on-click event. So the way you would do that is you would 
create another uh, variable called table. So I'll do table el, and I'll do document query selector table, and then I'll say um, table el add event listener click, and then we'll say on delete row. And we haven't created this function yet, so we need to do that. So we'll say function on delete row and this will take in an event so we only want to respond to um, click events that um, where the element that's being clicked has the uh, delete button class so the way we can do that is we can say e dot target and target is what was clicked on dot class list capital L um, contains and then um, we can say delete BTN. Now I'm going to do a little trick and say does not contain and then just return if it doesn't contain. And we're going to test this out um, by alerting clicked on the button. So if this works, I should be able to click here and nothing happens. But if I click on the button, it says clicked on the button. Okay. So it's looking good. So now we need to delete. So we'll say const um, button equals e dot target. So we know the target is the button. And then we can say button dot closest. And what closest will do is it'll find the closest element. Um, and we want to say tr because we want to get the whole table row. And then we can say remove. And remove will just delete the element. So we'll save, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll submit. And in theory, if we delete, it goes away. So I'll create a few of these. And let me actually just create one with Amazon. Amazon, we'll go back to Google. Google, and I'm going to delete Amazon just to make sure. Yep, so that's working. All right, so that's how you would um, add and remove elements to a table dynamically using JavaScript. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.